call it even if I apply or talk. And thank you all for, uh, for being on time on the censure. Thanks to Peter to uh, loan us the use of the hall. I appreciate that a lot. Oh, yes, really. Here, we're moving on now. Roll call. Tony Richmond. Patrick Barhemi is coming. He didn't say he was not coming, so he uh, may walk in. Gil Stainer. Yeah. Alfredo Anino. Here. Barry Weiss. Here. Dean Cutler. Yeah. Matthew Dunn. Yeah. Joseph Sitkin. Here. Mike uh -huh. Sitkin. Here. Frank Leon. Yes, yeah. Uh, I think. Ben is excused. Yeah, Ben is excused. And Peter Segori is also excused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a four. Um, before we go any further, I just want to say something and then we'll go into your comments. I only just found out your age. Right. I have never worked with anybody right. your age before. Congratulations, wow. it's been a pleasure. The 39. Don't say has good. been. <laughs> yeah, keep that. Well, okay, you all can reach that age too. But that's a whole no, don't for say you. don't say 99 and has been at the same time. <laughs> You just never know. Yeah, one could do. Yes, sir. 99 is yeah. really yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a big one. Wow. Honor. Yeah. Okay, item three, President's comment. Uh, first of all, I wanted to explain. Uh, we, unfortunately, we, we asked and invited uh, people to, to join this board. And two, actually three people said yay, but I want in. And two of them showed up at our last meeting, and uh, we jumped the gun, uh, sadly, because we have no room for them. We uh, uh, we called for 13, uh, 13 members of the board, and we are full. And uh, so sadly, we could not accommodate them. So what I want to do is to talk about uh, the members of the board who perhaps do not want to participate, and we're going to and perhaps make room. So I just wanted to add that. Because especially uh, Peter Seidler, uh, Peter Seidler, who uh, owns the class, I think really enjoy the place of the third year. Um, but anyways, I don't know. What about the Vince? Vince space. The Vince space is already been taken. Oh, that's I, I been, uh, by Ben. Oh, been I been by Ben. I've been taken by Ben. Yeah. <laughs> ben Vince. Oh, and yeah, that's very right here all the time. I'm sorry, say again. How about the other members of their That is what I'm referring to, and I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll try to deal with that in the next couple of weeks and see if we can make room for these gentlemen. Okay? Um, without going into too much detail. The, um, without fail, without further ado, uh, you, know, you know that we had talked about at the last meeting. John's replacement, and we've already obviously met Vicki, for those of you that haven't. That's Vicki this one. Hi, Vicki. Nice to meet you. And Vicki is on the board officially, not yet, but officially uh, approximately a month or a few days from today, uh, December 11th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So please do. Uh, Vicki will be officially uh, joining John for probably next weeks of December. We, we can't, are yet to figure that out. In between John and Vicki, they'll determine uh, between them how long uh, how long John will stay on during the month of December. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get him on. We don't know. It's kind of unanimous on that. Nobody wants to go on. Vicki, you want to a couple of words in introduction? Well, Hello, Hi everybody who I haven't gotten to meet. My name is Vicki Nesham. I'm extremely excited to be joining you guys. I do live in Studio City, so it's like a dream to be able to go to live here and work here. Uh, I walk into the bid virtually every week for fun, so it's just going to be great to be part of the team. I'm um, filling very big shoes. I'm sure John will help me get acclimated and learn everything, but I do know that he's done a phenomenal job moving the organization forward and I'm quite excited. So any questions you have, reach out. As I said, I guess officially I'm not on board for a month, but John is Monday, here. December 11th, which is official. Yeah. Actually, that's a Tuesday. I was trying to figure out why it's Tuesday. You told me when you said Probably my fault. It's my fault. Well, we'll figure well, out. <laughs> I'm 
I have well, this is new, right? Yeah. yeah. So for those of you who don't know, I have been working with the Sherman Oaks Business Improvement District, so I do have business improvement district experience. Um, and I recently resigned from the Sherman Oaks Chamber, so I have some chamber experience that I've been doing for about eight and a half years. And uh, her baby, by the way, has been the, uh, the, the Sherman Oaks uh, street fair. Yeah. Uh, and that is that is that is basically all of her. Wow. Well, for yeah. those of you that have walked, and I get to the uh, city now. Yeah. I just turned to Barry and asked him if he'd help me do it. So let's figure it out. What are you doing? I know John already started something, so we'll probably talk about how to do that. Yeah, she has done a lot of really good stuff in Sherman Oaks, and uh, and I think that we can we can pick up on some of that. And, uh, and a welcome, an unofficial welcome. Unofficial welcome. An unofficial thank welcome. You. Thank you. I have a point. Um, thank you, John. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I wanted to add. To that. Uh, not really. Um, yeah, let's jump to item four. Uh, public comments. Anybody? Hearing none. Item five. Discussion on the motion to uh, approve the minutes of both the September 17 and October 5 minutes, and I assume everybody has read them. Yeah. Um, and we have a motion from uh, Mike and second from Barry. Any comments? Hearing none, all approved, please. And opposed? Thank you. Patrick Parhami has seen the minutes, I mean, seen the treasurer's reports, and I have an email over back saying everything is good. With an email from Any comments on the uh, any comments on the uh, the numbers before we go on? Joe, no. you're the official commenter. You look good. Do I hear a motion to approve? And Mike, motion to approve. Do I hear a second? Sure. Joe, thank you. The second. Second. Pair. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, I thought, I thought I did that. All in favor, please. Thank you. Opposed? Thank you. Uh, John? Item number eight. Oh, number seven. I beg your pardon. I thought we were going on. Um, I sent out uh, the initial annual planning report for 2019 and I found some errors in the numbers. So the only change was the back page. The back page, I know that this board isn't excited about raising the 4% increase, but at the rate we're going and even with our current rollover funds, we will run out of money in the fourth year on the next renewal without the 4% increase. We have enough right now to last comfortably three and a half to four years. I know the vendors are increasing their rates in 2019. They've all told us that and they've submitted their 2019 rates and they're figured into the new budget and that's what the different two dollars were. I didn't do it the first time. So just be aware of that, that in the next couple of years, that 4% I suspect is going to come before this board. Otherwise, we won't have enough funds to go through the next five years. So the, it wouldn't necessarily be on next year's tax. Not at all. In 2019 is we're good. We're good. Yeah. Maybe 2020. So 2021. 2021. 2021. Did you study the budget? Yes, sir. Is there anything in that budget presently that can be omitted? You know, if you want to cut back on security, you could probably save a couple thousand dollars. I don't know about omissions, but you could save some money. Uh, I'm interested in saving money. Uh, I supposed to go ahead and increase the rate. I would personally prefer to see if we can reduce the. So that's something for the next agenda? That's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and again, the rollover is also a question. Yeah, but we'll if I change the rollover, that's going to be the big right. issue, yes. John, do you know the exact. I know the exact. Is it 
tens of thousands, a little? Or? We're not over anything right now. No, but in that projected fourth year, without an increase, what is your? $37,610. Is it um, we'll be under. Over, over. Oh, I'm we'll sorry, under, yeah. Under fund. Under fund. Under fund. Under fund. And is this the moment that we decide whether we're going to no. increase those situations? No, no, no. This has to go in. This report has to be at, at the city clerk's office, and they have given me an extension of two days because we're not meeting until today. It was due last Friday. Uh, and, but, but I wanted, and the, which is fortunate because that's when I found the mistake literally over the weekend. I was looking at it again, and I went, oh, this is not right. And then I extended these numbers out and see that we don't have enough funds to cover us. So, this has to go in, so if there are any, no questions. Any comments on, on that, or it's, no, it's going. It's so going. going. It's going. Okay. So right, we need an official yes, approval. We need, a, we need, need a, a, a motion to approve the planning report as presented. Thank you, sir. From Matt, thank you. And a second from uh, Alfredo. Alfredo. Thank you very much. All in favor? And opposed? Unanimous, thank you. Thank you, guys. And now we voted on we voted on the new on the, on the renewal of the members last different month. members. Did we not? Different members. These are these are members whose terms are expiring. Mm. And did they not already agree to No, these are different members? different members. I thought that we went that we dealt with this last at the last meeting. Or the these are these are no, uh, item number uh, item number eight are the expiring uh, three year terms of the following: Gil Spainer, then Besley, Peter Sigori, Mike Sitkin, and the Very Wise. I thought we dealt with this attorney on the We did deal with it, but not with these guys. These are I new, as well, obviously. So I'm saying these so people. I thought we dealt with these people. <laughs> we did not. We did not. Okay. We did not. No, he, was, he was he was the expiring he was team. taking all the he was the expiring okay. term. Okay. Um, so my question is the question is, gentlemen, do we do politics now? Do I fight sure. for office? I'd love to be another three years. Thank you. We got one. <laughs> and Peter Peter absolutely will. Ben absolutely will. I don't know. Gil? <laughs> Gil's in your court, Gil. I can sure. Sure. We got a shirt from Gil. Barry. Yes. We got a yes. yes. Hold up for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> we got a yes. Can we negotiate? Uh, yeah. No, we cannot negotiate any contract. Your contract's in, in concrete. Your contract's in concrete. <laughs> yes. In concrete. <laughs> <laughs> you think he said you could offer them all double? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Double plus a double bonus. Why not? Plus a double bonus. So out loud for the minute, Gil Stainer, Ben Bestley, Peter Sigori, Mike Sitkin, and Barry Weiss. Yeah. Three up for and three years. Well, and uh, I would like to, obviously, uh, all in favor of, uh, of, of, <laughs> of voting for these gentlemen. Uh, there is no vote required. No vote required? No, sir. We, can, we have to clap for this? They accept this. Thank you, guys. No vote, huh? We don't get the vote, no? <laughs> All right. There, there's one tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, right. oh, we get the live voted. We get the live voted sticker. All the small people's got yeah. it. A little, a little. Item number nine: our SCB emails. Which is a great. Does everybody? Well, go ahead. Almost everybody is on board and has an SCB email, with a few exceptions. Did anybody have as much trouble as I had? Uh, me. I had to get my IT guy in. Me. I couldn't. And, not and John has done it for you. And John, the first time in his office, and yeah. the first run through failed with this IT guy. And, uh, I have a Mac. Yeah, yeah. Mac. I and I, I, and I, I went on my Mac Mac. Oh, good and it failed, and the second time we finally, he finally got it done with his other guy. So, do you have an IT guy? Yeah. Is he going to make that switch for you? Yeah. Gentlemen, do you need any help? Yeah, I, I need help. help. I take it. Sure. Right. So you need help in making the email. I don't care about printing. I care about the email changing the address. I, it's not a question of changing it. It's a question of getting it to you. You want, you want a copy of the And, and so I'll I'll that's not what we're discussing. 
I'm going to change your email address to SBCD. Have you done that? No. Can I help you do that? Sure. Say yes. That's it. Yeah. Frank? I, I thought I did mine. Yeah. Did you receive an email from me? No. You didn't, but send, I, you didn't send me an email then that you're in. Oh, okay. That happened to me too. That's oh, oh really? Because I have it on my, I have the, the officially my address over here, you know, my, my page. So you, did you receive an email from me? Did you Asking receive, me to change Did you yes. receive this packet from me? No. With the agenda? Yeah. Then I didn't yeah. know that you were okay. on. Okay. So then I'm going to need help too. <laughs> okay. And you can forward it to your regular emails. We don't want that. No. So don't suggest that. Okay. Officially welcome. Hey guys. Came late, leaving early. I'm here. Good man. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank All you. Right, uh, and uh, Patrick, we were on that SCBD email. Thing. Did you did you get your sale? Okay, thank you. Um, while you're on the subject, you need to start a little bit more. I have. Yes. All right. Um, all right. Thank you. On number eleven, updates. Number 10. Number 10. Sorry, we flew my boot last This Alfredo is in response also to your to the budget issue that deals directly with that. Mike Simpson wanted to see, and Tony wanted to see some additional services that were offered. That's what these are and the costs involved. I Okay. So is this the discussion time for that? Yes, that's yes. well as, as he brings this to the table. Okay. Okay. And it is on the table. Okay, so I'd like to say if I could um, after reviewing it, we're already going to incur uh, increase to begin with, and I think that increasing their presence, I feel like it's not really gonna be as much of a benefit as I try to do. So I myself if I could withdraw it, we don't increase. That's just what was the additional this, this was because of you that it was because yeah, of me. Yeah, I apologize. Right. That I, oh, oh, after yeah. seeing the expenses and hearing what he was gonna do for us, I didn't find it to be worth it. You want to withdraw this? I'd like to withdraw it if, if that's in my power. I mean, sure if anyone's gonna I'd like to know it. before you do though, what was the difference so that I'm clear on it? Well it was gonna be something like forty five dollars an hour. Right. And then you had to commit to eight hours a day and 40 hours a week. And we're already talking about budget constraints moving forward. And it, the, the commitment was going to be 40 hours a week? Yeah, and, and yeah. That was the only way he could do that. If oh, I read okay. that right. Um, if you didn't, yeah. the answer is no, you're right. right. I didn't read it that way. That's yeah. why I was asking. Yeah. So that, at least that's the way I understood it. So my feeling was we've got coverage. We're not breaking the laws. I, 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 I don't think we need to okay. harass. Sure enough. I think no action. Okay. Thank you. No, I apologize. There is no apology. Thank you. Okay. Uh, to number 11. Um, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but all the fire hydrants within the district have all been Painted. Yeah, yeah, um, and we've gotten lots of positive response from just those really fire good. hydrants, which is a good thing. And from several dogs. And from several <laughs> dogs. How many hydrants are there? 42. 42 hydrants? Yeah. It looks great. It does look good. I'm happy with it too. Color. They're all they're all the approved anti what's the color? Anti something yellow. Uh, uh, safety yellow. Yeah. It's a safety yellow and it's the city's approved color. Yeah. Um, Sorry, I don't know the name of it too, and I must have written it five times. Uh, yeah. The next item is the possible polls and branding of this organization. I just want to clarify because Mike and I had a conversation. These are only jumpstart ideas. I'm not presenting these to be voted on or approved or anything else. But my recommendation is that this organization start branding in a much higher visible way. 
And we have a lock now on 103 poles on Ventura Boulevard and Ventura Place. You might think about taking advantage of that by putting in, I've set out some banners and these are just ideas. These are not locked in. New banners that are inclusive of our website because our website is missing from everything that goes out there. These banners go back to back. It's just an idea. Or branding our district with street signage. Mm -hmm. This is not in your oh, agenda. Okay. You can pass that around yeah. and look at it. It's just an idea. It's nothing else, but I think you should give it some thought for, oh, for, for, for some things to do because it's renewal. It will make her job easier if people see something out there when she goes knocking on doors getting signatures for these petitions. And we got, we got all year. Starting January? Yeah. It took two years to get them. We've got yeah, we've got the we've got the polls reserved for the is it the calendar year? Yes sir. For the so calendar that year of nineteen. Planned. It's done, yeah. It's done. The printing and installation and everything is in the two thousand nineteen budget? No, no, we haven't gotten approval no, no, no. from the oh, board yet. Just, no. just the permit. I'm just saying the polls are there. We have the polls. Right. It's yeah. the reservation, but not for the right. Right. It's the permit. Exactly. Right. Okay. So, so tell, tell, tell us logistically, though, how it works. We've got the polls. What do people, what do, what do other, do any other bids have polls? Yeah. And what do they do? Do they change them? Do they have a, a, a circulating bunch of these only for the holiday only for the holiday and is the reservation of the polls for the whole year yes so what do they do with polls the rest of the year leave them up they identify they brand their organization well that's what i'm asking so they have holiday and <coughs> banners during the holiday what's on the polls in those areas the rest of the year well in this case it's the north hollywood business that i'm thinking of yeah. and what do they do just they just they hang and blow in the wind and what did they say? North Hollywood business district so in their way in our case it would be that. Yeah, but well, that's just the same thing. You know, okay. By example, it would be this Third all year Street. except for holiday. Third Street, if I'm not right, that's a really beautiful graphic one. Yeah, you would talk about that. There, there, those are, I mean, I think, a little variety. Again, these are only a catalyst. I think it should be thought. These aren't being I, put I, up. I remember there said. And this little map is not that good. Now, so we're really we're really at a crossroads here. We're uh, at, at the end of the holidays. We're recovered at this point. We've got empty holes mm -hmm. as of right now. We so, you can make some money if you want to uh, on. Uh, I want to say MTV Awards. It's not the MTV Awards. Um, it it's an organization. Not the academy, but it's an organization that would like to use the polls for an eight-week period. We could, we could probably get some reimbursement back from that organization. I, I had it in my office. The fees only. Yeah, just the fees. Yeah, we can't make a profit. We could get the fees back. Mm -hmm. What are our fees? Are we, 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 spend, for? we spent $237, and then we spent another $100 on AMGRAPH going out and applying for the fees themselves. So a little under four hundred dollars I think total. And that's for the year? Yeah. So the eight weeks is going to be pennies. It will be pennies. Yeah. So it's not it's, it's the application and this yeah. it's the beginning of this part. Is yes. this the number that you think it's going to cost to print and install? A hundred? Oh no. It's not uh, that three hundred dollars. No, no yeah. I think that's right. That's mm -hmm. about close. Okay. We'll have to board me that that's what I was asking. Is that, I'm sorry, about three grand again? No, that's 30 grand. 30 grand. To print and install, that's right. Yeah, to print and install. Yes, manufacture these. Was it that high? Mm -hmm. It is. Was that high? 24,000. Yeah, that's not a lot. 30 grand. That sounds like a lot. And is that the feeling that people really look at these things? It's up to you guys. Yeah. I think they do. You do? Yeah. Because I was kind of. I drive Lampershire a lot. And I see, and I, and I sometimes see what we talk about earlier. Yeah. I look, but but like most signs, personally, most signs get old. And for areas mm -hmm. that I travel all the time, I see them for the first X times in an area, and then they go away. You have to try to open your eyes. I stop doing that. Well, what if we had four? 
But then that's another thirty grand mm -hmm. in the insurance. No, it's not. That's for that's for print. That's for that's for making them. Yeah, but if you have hanging notes, hanging notes, how much? The whole price for is for us. It is twenty four thousand six hundred dollars to have the manufactured in home. Exactly. So I'm talking about question. just the uh, the acquisition of of the X of these. How many poles are how many poles? One hundred and three. One hundred and three. And that's what that's a two seconds. Yeah. Okay. So one hundred and three is the acquisition cost, and that is how much of the thirty. I'm sorry. I'm how much of the thirty thousand is the acquisition cost? It's twenty-four thousand. Oh, I don't know. It's I don't about know. Half and half, I think, Tony. About half and half. So the remaining, so fifteen thousand, is the cost to to hang them up mm -hmm. and take them down mm -hmm. and store them. Mm -hmm. Store them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So every time we every time we put them up and take them down, it's fifteen grand. You know, it will own it, it will be a different price after that. It, it won't be the same amount of money if you put them up a second time. We did it on the neighborhood council, and it was practically fifty percent less. Mm -hmm. And I just so lost on the numbers. Yeah. I'm, I'm now I'm now completely lost. This is to manufacture and install banners yes. on 103 poles on two sided banners. I got it. Thirty thousand dollars. Twenty four thousand. Twenty four hundred dollars. So twenty four six. So it, it wouldn't be twenty four six. No. We're taking all right. Yeah. Here's what I, here's what I'd like. So we can talk about it the next time. I, I'd like to know because again we're, we're closing in on the time where these are going to be empty poles. And I think we need to really look at what we're going to do January 1st or thereabouts. Um, I'd like to know what the cost of choosing something and manufacturing them under the board and putting them up. And it's excellent. It's actually 206. It's 24. 206. Yeah. It's 206. So it's 24, 6 approximately. Okay. Then I'd like the second number as to removing them, I'm sorry, it, how much does it cost, will it cost, to take these same ones that you already own, out of storage, put them up, and take them down? That's a separate number. And the next board meeting is January 7th? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so we're already going to be empty. I was just going to say. We're going to be empty for it. Takes at least. So um, we can. Oh, we're we're, we're going to have empty okay. poles that we're that we're paying for, but at small numbers for okay. several months. But addressing what somebody was saying about driving past and just being the same, we don't look at them. Maybe it's not a bad idea to go in and let the other group have them for the sake of making changes that people will notice. And then they'll notice again when we put ours. In. Is so it that actually could be our, that can help us eight weeks. Mm -hmm. That could really help us. Not, not bad, you're right. Mm -hmm. Because you've got to change these things. And conceivably, so it wouldn't attention. cost us, maybe we can negotiate that. Part of the deal is they pay to put them up. Agreed. We could get something, something for nothing, but you need turnover with these things. You need, so people will see them. And it is true. I noticed when, when the film on it puts stuff up, oh, I noticed it. Right. But then I stopped. Yeah. So is that something that we need to? Who is the, who is the organization? Amgraph. I think she knows. And are there other organizations? No, like, you mean which yourself? organization wants the polls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I, I don't know. I have it in an email or anything. No, we, we can certainly look at that. I think, that I think that's a reasonable work. I think it's what you've been saying, but it seems pretty obvious that would, money is irrelevant. What we want is for them to be to take ours down. And put, put ours back up when yeah. they're done. Yeah. And then all we have to pay for is the. I can almost guarantee that that will happen. And so we could, that. we could get two, at least cover that. Yeah. Two, two cycles of signs plus all of And by that and time, time, we would have it. already built what yeah. the other one's going to look yeah. like. And because it'd be stupid for us to yeah. pay anything like $10,000 to let them yeah. do what they And And we'll help us get the rotation. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt them. They still. Yeah. So we should let them know that they're. Going to be do we able to have and access our polls if they put them up and take them down? Do we vote? No, it's a, this oh. is a contract thing. But my question is, how many? How what are we? What are we? I'm not quite clear on what exactly is happening. We're giving up our polls with what codicil towards them? So we're giving up our polls for the time we would not have our banners ready or up. And what are you asking them? And we're then? asking them to take the, the polls for that time and cover. Either taking down ours, so we don't have to. Ours won't be up there. 
No, the holiday. The holiday. Take it down. Take down our holiday. Take down our holiday. Put up theirs. And then when it's time, I guess we probably have to pay. We, we've already money. negotiated the price for the holiday. That's a done deal. Oh, so they, so they, they, you already they, they will be taken down. Yes, sir. But they can cover the expense if they want their truck. Well, well, they want to they're getting they another company on. involved in bills that are already that paid. Right. That can no, they right. can just pay to put the new ones up. They can pay to put the new ones up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whatever you just be clear on yeah. so we know what we're doing. And maybe we could then afford two sets of signs. Right. So right. Right. rather than do this, right. rather than do this by committee right now, why don't because you have a handle you have a handle okay. on what you're talking about. Yeah. Why don't but but, but just so I can understand. Uh, the uh, how how many weeks are is this is this group music cat? Yeah, it's, it's a music cat. Eight weeks, right? Eight, eight, eight weeks, yeah. yeah. All right. At the same time, could you find out are there other groups interested in it that may fit? Right? Yeah. But well, as an ongoing thing, maybe there's going to be periods of time. Oh, good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what do you if it's a floor, I'd be there. I went there. I had to go there. All right. Uh, would you do that? Because I think. Yeah, sure. Sure. Right. We don't forget. Let me know. Yeah. Okay. I think you. Yeah. 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 I like, I I like the idea. Right? I like the idea of, of having some, of some, some turnover there. Some turnover. And not have a messy and have. Yeah. And, and not have to pay to turn. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. All right, we've already talked about street signage and banners. Um, the quarterly report for July, August, and September was submitted and accepted. And that's all I have. Oh, I brought, I brought the, I put the fairway project up. Yeah, I don't know. Thinking I don't know if there's anything we're going to talk about. But, well, but oh, there yeah. is something to talk about because this organization allocated $6,000. Right. Do you not want to have any say in what goes there? We talked about this and talked about this. Not to me. I when I was used to you. No, you said I don't know when I asked the question. What was your question? What What did we give that six thousand dollars for? I don't know. And again, you're saying I don't know. <laughs> wasn't it signed? It was. What we? I don't know what it was. I wasn't around. I will, was tell, I will tell you all again. For those of you who are here, uh, you may remember that uh, that the beautification, uh, Studio City beautification, came to us with this whole concept has to be six years ago, five years ago, um, of, of doing something with the fairway hill. And uh, they wanted to landscape it to make it look pretty, to make it look like below, below, below the, uh, the, um, the homework of the thing. Um, and they, they thought that the project was going to cost somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 $20,000 and would they make a contribution of, uh, I didn't think it was six, but perhaps I thought it was five, but maybe it was six thousand. And it was when uh, Franco was president. We thought, okay, this sounds like a good idea. Because the concept was that it would, it would become an entrance to Studio City in some fashion. Welcome to the bid, welcome to the business district, welcome to it in terms of how design, whether that would be some integrated in rock or integrated in, a, in some fashion on that hill. And so... So signage is what you were discussing? Signage. Okay. It was a uh, signage. I'm not sure that the word signage is appropriate. Like landscape signage. It was a, I'm not sure the signage is that was appropriate. Your word, yeah. yes. okay. You mean something in the ground? <laughs> something in, in the ground. Like landscape in okay. the ground, whether it be in rock. Kind of like that. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But something, something that would something that would be welcome to the business district, welcome to something. And that was the entree, that was the raison for for our contributions, as well as you. The reasons. The reasons. That would be another way. But some of us are, yes. So like, um, yeah, and so we, so we ponied up a $6,000 contribution to the to the beautiful the studio city beautification they were association, right. and they were to handle getting everything done, getting the, 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 the contracts in the city, getting the uh, uh, getting the designs, and that we were going to be included in that portion when it got to design. Which, after all these years of dealing with the city, getting the, as you see, the, getting the sidewalk done, getting the thing done, years later, they're finally getting close to the design portion. 
So that's what this is about. Uh, but when it was conceived, it was never really known that there was going to be a retaining wall on top of it. No, right. None of that was known. None of that was known. Yeah. 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 None of that was known. So the question is now, where will this this uh, this monument or whatever it is open to, or the bid, or how that's going to work, is an unknown. Who's right. holding the bonds? Is they are S C R A. No, no. Oh yes, they not the no no well the beautification is not S C R A. Oh, oh I'm sorry, but it was the check was made for beautification. Yes. So I'm, Check was made for beautification. Okay, the beautification is holding the money. Okay. So the, the land behind the retaining wall. Yeah. Oh, that you know, public, that triangular. That's still yeah. public space. It does the mic. They don't know the ownership of it. What, they're not in that. We designed it as in that kind of permanent. Right. So I was where, just, where it is and how high it is and all of that has not been. Well, I was asking the land above the retaining wall. Is that is that public? Is that public? Oh, it's it's public. It's possible. Okay. But it's not so much private. It is private property. It is, I believe, it is private property, but it is not assessed. We, we don't assess that property. It is not. It so is we conceivably can't touch it. No. We can put know. a sign or a pole. I don't know what beautification said when they came to ask for money. That's part. That's part. Of the agreement, the agreement with whoever they made the agreement. Okay. To do all this work, that there would be. They would allow us to physically came since the day that yeah. they well, that. do this. The ADA. Yeah, ADA changed the way the whole yeah. table's done. So we're just going to address yeah. what's going on. Yeah, we're going to look at it. We're going to look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Where's the beautification? We're going to get involved when they when they pull the designs. I had a meeting, quickie meeting, with a couple of designers, with uh, with the uh, with Beth Diamond, uh, and she they were interviewing sort of a couple of uh, uh, landscape designers, and it's on the earlier. They're almost too good. They just go out there with the landscape. How much money did that cost just the landscape and, and just no permit? Just do it. We can't do that. Well, why? Why can't you landscape? No, we get the owner. Just the water, water is a problem too. You know. so you part, part of it is bringing is bringing the. Really, is that is that really a crime to? Uh, probably not, but probably is. Probably Instead of going through all this kind of stuff. We don't even know what we're going to do yet. So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's figure out what we're going to do with the dock here when we're those permits that are in our own. I see it in our QuickBooks program. Where's all the eyesore? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a couple of eyesores along that. All right. Um, anyway, so that remains to be seen. And we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get more information by the next meeting. Hopefully. I agree. So this is going on. This will be probably the end of the next week. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to we'll leave it on the agenda. Uh, we can and, uh, find out. And we'll that. see if we can get more information. Yes. I think. Yes. Well, let's let's you know something. Let's leave it on the agenda, and we'll ask uh, we'll ask uh, Beth. Uh, Beth we'll invite Beth. Can Beth. Can we modify it and say that it's on the agenda based on collecting more information regarding the signage or the monument or whatever it is that we whatever you just said. Yeah. I'm fine with me. Specifically, so why it's on the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So maybe somebody would come to my agenda. Board comments for things not on the agenda. Anybody have any discussion? Uh, Anything so you want to talk about? Please say. Please yeah, say. The, uh, months back, we talked about the city had some money reserved for us for sidewalk repair. What is the status on that? You know that was coming. I did. It's done. Yeah. What do you mean? I have talked to the president of street services this afternoon. Yes, yes. When do you want that crew out there? Wow. Yes, now. Okay. So I had to go out there and shoot the pictures, and that's what I did. And I called you back. And I waited for you to ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> you, you saw, you saw, you see what I'm talking about. Oh, I only did this. Remember, man, we had this conversation last year. I requested it last year, and they said they had no more funds. And they I am slowly getting Alzheimer's. Oh. And so, you know, I said, I shouldn't joke about that. My mom said that. But I can't remember last year. All I know is Sephora is up. And I'm just so I brought to his attention that I had already submitted this request last year, and he asked me for a favor. So I said, I, can I ask you for something? Okay, so what is it now? Now tell me when. I don't have anything else to say <laughs> oh, okay. at, at this table. 
No. I, I you, have the phone. Oh, so you're going to call me and tell me? Yeah, you're going to have to get on the phone. And yeah, I'll introduce you. You'll have a conversation. Oh, but they did they say? Why didn't you just stop? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, These are public sidewalks, by the way, if anybody wants to know. And you've been very aggressive about yeah. getting them repaired. Yes, no question. They're public they're sidewalks. sidewalks. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm a public yeah. sidewalk. And, uh, are you getting frivolous lawsuits? I get them all the time. Just stupid stuff. You know? well, there's a lot of divots in that area in the sidewalk. And it's, it's the bad. city. And they always yeah. drag the owner into it. It's the city's fault. He was very familiar with it. And, and now that they have some new funds, they'll get to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any other comments? Yeah. Uh, if we haven't been involved with the airport and the noise. Right. You mean the change in the Burbank airport? Yes. Mm -hmm. The number of flights coming over uh, to the city. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know the details of it. I'm pretty well familiar with it, but my wife is right in the middle of that. She's very involved with the issue of the airport. Uh, there are 10,000 students, 10,000 students whose lives are affected by the airplane flying over to the city, which is changed from the FAA's previous flight path. So now we're subjected, we're subjecting the public as well as the retailers, as well as the, well, the public and the, the retailers, to this additional peril that we've never had to face before. And there's a meeting scheduled, I think it's the 7th, 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. Uh, yes, yes, the Burbank Stable. Yeah. We're the Burbank State on Riverside Road. Riverside Road. Thank you, Dean, very much. The last meeting was attended uh, by a lot of people. And, and this is a pretty critical situation. And it's something that I don't know if we can get involved in because we represent the commercial and the so I've written a letter, not not on behalf of this organization, but inclusive of the businesses in the corridor itself, um, and the school children, and the unknown uh, uh, review impacts because there hasn't been one. They refused to do it. We had a, I attended a meeting today uh, with a group of people about this very issue that lasted two and a half hours. There's one group that wants to go into lit litigation and another group that wants to do something else. And and I think what we need to do is, and they agreed ultimately to put these groups together. And what we need to do is request an environmental impact statement be written so that the public has something to respond to. Right now, there's nothing to respond to. So that's where, that's where that is, and the other group still has retained an attorney. Mike Fuhrer and our city councilman, Paul Paporian, have retained a law firm. They are filing a city suit. This organization is filing a community suit. Um, and if, if you say yes to include you officially, I'll redraft another letter and, re and include this organization. Well, then we would be liable for funding to fund? To no, no, no fun. We're not. We're not taking part in the lawsuit. Okay. No. It will negatively impact every business on Ventura Boulevard. Negatively impacts New York City. Negatively. And the outcome is because the FAA decided, and there must be some monetary reason for them to do that. It's quite happy. So now if you. So Burbank's happy. We're not. No, Burbank, is, well, Burbank never really had much of an impact because they came, most of the fights came in from the north. And they did not fly in Germany. Oh, Burbank, they fly over the very end of the city. But now we're flying. Yeah. And, and it's a pretty dangerous situation. I did. And I don't know why they haven't made any sort of doing it, but they did. And now they have to change to the back. Yeah. So hasn't they started? Pardon? The flights have started. Oh, yeah. They started in two years ago. Oh. And 2017, I'm sorry. Yeah. And they're oh. just increasing. Oh, I ain't told all I ain't here that. It's now increasingly that they're going to increase the number of flights to Hawaii. 
Please me. Right over there. Okay, it's well, a very serious issue. There's no question about it. You know, anyway, we're pretty much concerned with it and involved in it. And, uh, I don't know if I can make a bid to write a letter on behalf of to, to the FAA on behalf of the bid. We have no governance over the FAA, obviously. That's right, that's the issue. So as individuals... Well, I've written my own. I mean, I have one or the other. Are you asking the bid to write this letter? I think we should support it. I think so, too. But wouldn't... Uh, I think the key thing on this is who do you send it to? You've got to get it to the Senate. Yeah, it doesn't go to the Senate. No, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. yeah, John sent out some. You already talked. I put a draft together already. Mm -hmm. I just. Um, well, I'm okay with it. Okay. Sure. But the one that I forwarded on, and I got a response. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, I thought I'd bring it to your attention. I mean, she's an active, ongoing, and does require support. Yeah, they must be getting a lot of the community is responding in force. Oh. Yeah, they might be, the community must be going crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, I live near LA, so I understand. It's a, yeah. And they'll never change that, so we're screwed. Well, so. The Valley did make a major change in having them relocate the flight patterns. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, did that have something to do with changing the tower? They were building a new tower and new runway? Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with that. that do with that's that. done by the city of Newport. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go right now to a house in play that we're at to sit outside like, to listen hmm. and see how bad it is. Why don't we put it off? Okay. It's not so much the, the noise. The noise is only possible. The other half of the problem are the, are the, the emissions of um, jet fuel. The, yeah, which is all poisonous. All the stuff that comes out of Yeah, I know. And to the air. If you get the wind, uh, if you get the ocean wind, that's what you're paying for. Talk about that, but Mr. Sitkin Joseph asked for this zoning map. Yes? Well, or is there been a decision made formally to include the bid in the letter or revise the letter or write it in the report? We, we talk it's about it. We, it's not on this agenda. No, it's not on the agenda. Even yeah. a letter? We have, it's an action and it's not on this agenda. So, so it can be on the next agenda? Yeah, it's put on the next agenda. agenda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, it's not really too late, but they're closing it off for public comment, the 7th and the 8th. Uh, that's too, that's too well, there is something else you could do. Joe wants to do this. I would comment on the map. It's a great map. Look at what I have. I was thinking perhaps we don't need that many maps around here. We had one that was uh, encapsulated. What are the words? Yeah, yeah. laminate, laminate. laminate. One or two for each meeting. We won't have these. We just did this one time. It was supposed to have been laminated, you know, one or two but it didn't get done. And then we would bring it from the office each time. Yeah. I understand exactly what you want, and that that is what will happen. Okay. Thank but you. but I thought presenting something was better than nothing. Unless you want to put some <laughs> any other any other comments? I had a I don't know, Mrs. Bogut. I had a sort of a marketing idea, and knowing that we're it's been one of these main drivers to get some recognition and we've been having trouble getting an audience and having trouble letting people know what we do. So I had this idea about uh, doing a, we had a 200 and something business in the bid, a random business feature where someone goes and interviews the business and then that, if a short interview could be a video thing, that business then posts it to their mailing list and we also put it in a permanent spot on our website so it's something that lives on our website forever it's a feature on business just some basic questions how long have you been here what do you love about studio city we could come up with a group of questions and then 
take advantage of their mailing list because they're going to, if they get featured, they're going to want to share that with their What audience. do you call that? A business highlight or something. Business spotlight. Business spotlight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> business spotlight. Stupid question. Do you have uh, the uh, the um, thing, um, uh, the farmer's market, do we have a booth, tent, whatever? We don't have one. We can always request one. But then, there's no, there's no recognition. Well, I can't hear you. We have no recognition in the farmer's market. No. So I knew that this thing, was, <laughs> this would cost money. But the other thing is we could reach out to the schools, all the schools around the region. That's Have gotten <laughs> us. Now, I'm sure they have audio visual departments like filming and stuff. I'm wondering if any of their students would be willing to go and do the interview. Oh, we have a social media director. We do, but this would be um, media to feed to this person who would present that. Oh, I, do, that. I understand the idea and the concept, but and I, I if you like, want that on the agenda for a vote because it's an expenditure. Well, the thing, the thing, it is an expenditure, I agree, but I think it could be done with a minimum <coughs> amount of money by getting volunteers to do that. So anyway, that I'm right. just sort of okay. I've just got a couple more, couple more things. I just wanted to pass this around. Uh, what, my wife picked up this copy of the Boulevard. If anybody seen that magazine? Sweet. Did you do this just to make me feel good? You I know did. we did that. I know you did, and I did that just to make you feel good. Uh, but this is an example. We have talked, we, we have talked, kicked this around a little bit. This is what uh, has been done in uh, Sherman Oaks and other places, and I think you've mentioned it a few times. This, uh, the electrical boxes. Yes. Any of the electrical boxes. Yeah. 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 No, 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 we decide. You we got. You guys well, can decide. We we can do it. Well, well, we must so so Vicky, Vicky has Vicky has arranged that at least two of them be involved in that. Yeah. Yeah. We did that with the Sherman Oaks Foundation. There's an anti graffiti. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. what we did is we paid the artist to paint. I mean, obviously, the artist submitted, you have to approve the art, and then the art has to be approved first by your council district. And then the council district sends them to, I believe, it's LADOT because they're all traffic light controller boxes. LADOT approves it. And then the artist paints, and then we pay to have a graffiti proof paint put on top of it. So and I have to tell you, the paint's fantastic. I go out there myself. With like a wipe, yeah, maybe a little scrub brush and graffiti. Knock on wood, has come off oh, every single. It's a very glamorous job. I go out there. Yeah, we we do the trash cans. You'll you. love her. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, but it's. I have to say, for whatever it's worth, ninety-nine percent positive feedback on this project. It's yeah, this, really this people really love good. it. Yeah, They're I, beautiful. I, I, I admire it. And you can even try to get your artists all from Studio City, where you can theme them. There's so many different ways to go about it, but the graffiti proof paint is absolutely mandatory. You're right, they get tagged quite frequently, very sadly. That is a great thing. These are beautiful. And it's some of them there's respect in the graffiti. Work. Absolutely. Some of them they don't touch it. Some, some of them they don't. Them. You're correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments before we pull the plug? Yes. So, Jess, I mentioned to you and John, uh, this will be my last meeting. Uh, I mentioned to you guys, I have too much of a work commitment, and I'm not going to be able to give as much as I want to for a bit. So, um, I'll help out as much as I can. And in the meantime, I'm totally fine with that. Oh, we all appreciate your time. I yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Really, thank you for. And we have your phone number. You know, but just remember that that means on the next agenda we will be nominating. Yes, I would suggest. Uh, uh, well, can we deal with that right now? No, 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 no. no. I don't think we're not for the election, but should uh, we can invite Peter to come back at the next meeting? Peter Segori? No, no, no. Peter Charger. Charger. Yes, Charger. George, 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 George. One, two, three, four, yes. five, six, seven, eight, 13, eight, 13, nine, ten, thirteen. Besides Dean and Peter, who else is here? Thirteen. Here. So we already have thirteen. No. These two are kind of cute. Which one you are? Yes, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. 
Yes, yes to the answer. Yes. Uh, we, this is the so yes. I will invite uh, Peter Chargeur from the Flask to come and attend our next meeting on uh, on December seventh. Your seat hardly got cold. December seventh. Easily. Pearl Harbor Day. Good luck. Just the motion to the ground. Did I do that? Uh, December seventh. Mm -hmm. January. No, January. January. Yeah. 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 And we won't see you at the next meeting. Yes, you will. We'll, we will. We will invite him. Why don't you put him on the board to the next meeting? No, he doesn't. He doesn't live here. That'd be an interesting. He don't meeting. live here. That'd be an interesting. <laughs> you live in here, don't you? Of course, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> I have buildings here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You could be on. Would you be on the board? Yeah, that's a good question. You don't get paid. He wants to be so far from this. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, know. You, mean, you, you would be on the board. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate even being considered sincerely. Um, I'd like to think about. It. Okay. Thank you. Enough. Thank you. Thank all right. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> he changed his phone <laughs> number. <laughs> All right, uh, do I have a motion for adjournment? Second. And a second, please? Yeah. I heard a motion yeah. from, uh, yeah. from Alfredo and a second from the former. No. All in favor? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.